In today's video, I want to show you how you can take an on-the-fly SpO2 blood oxygen level reading as well as have the watch take a blood oxygen level reading while you're sleeping up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of, uh, and I've done all sorts of tutorial videos on the Galaxy Watch 5 and 4 as well as other smart watches. Um, this video is part of the series of videos I'm doing on the Galaxy Watch 5, so if you want to know how to get more out of using your Galaxy Watch, be sure to check out those other tutorial videos. So let's scroll through the tiles of the uh, Galaxy Watch 5. This works for the Galaxy Watch 4 as well. When I get to the end of those tiles, there's actually no preset by default uh, tile for blood oxygen level readings, um, but you can add it. So you go to add tiles, and then from this point, this gives you all sorts of other shortcuts you can do that you can add as far as tiles. Um, we'll scroll through a bunch of these here. So you can do the calm, heart rate, contacts, uh, record, tours, Google Maps, you want to keep scrolling until you find the uh, blood oxygen level reading. So right there, we're going to add that tile. And then from this point, this now allows you to take an on the fly SPO2 reading. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with you and then show you a couple of other options and ways that you can use the SPO2 reading. So to take an SPO2 reading, let's click on measure or tap on measure and it says stay still. It is going to go through its percent here of taking uh, the reading. Now, the first time you do this, it also says to move the watch just a little bit higher up on your wrist to that'll allow it to give you a more accurate blood oxygen level reading. Um, it is fairly quick. I mean, it takes like 30 seconds to take an on-the-fly SpO2 reading, which is really convenient. Um, let's see what we have here. Place your elbow on the table and your wrist near your heart as shown above. Moving your watch higher on your wrist and tightening the strap. Don't move or talk while measuring. So I think that was probably my problem there. Make sure your watch is on the top of your wrist, not the underside. If your hands and arms are cold, remove your watch and rub your wrist gently to warm up your skin and then try again. So this time I'm going to take the reading, move this up a little bit and I'm not gonna talk. So that time, very quick to go ahead and get my blood oxygen level reading. So from this point, it shows you uh, 96%, and then uh, if we click on tag, we can select here general, so like if we're tired, unwell, after exercise, at high altitude. Really, I'm just general uh, right now. So that takes a record then of the time that you took the SpO2 reading. If you wanted to measure it again, you could go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see here. So from this point, that's all you can do from this tile is just take the SpO2 reading. Now I wanna show you another way that you can take the SpO2 reading and see more info. I'm gonna click this top right button to take me back to my main screen. Uh, and if I swipe up, that takes me to my uh, apps. The watch uses the Samsung Health app, which is right there, the icon of the runner. Uh, to go into the Samsung Health. And then from here you can see your Samsung Health dashboard showing all the information that this has recorded. As you keep scrolling down, you'll see that blood oxygen. So if we tap on this, this shows what we had before from the tile, but now it allows me to scroll down and gives me more info on how to measure as well as show on phone. So if I tap show on phone, it says continue on phone. And then this takes me right into the Samsung Health app on my phone. So you will need to have this installed if you don't already have it installed. But what's cool about this is it gives you more data than just what's on the watch. So from here, it shows the latest reading that I took today at 1130. But now I can actually go into the history of readings as well. So up top, if I wanted to share that, I've got a share icon. If I tap the little graph bars, this takes me into uh, previous 
uh, recordings that I've done so I can see the last seven days, 31 days, or even 12 months worth of readings. And then the uh, where it says all, I can pull that down and when I was tagging it by general, tired, unwell, I can actually just see, it's like a filter. Uh, I can filter by what I tagged those different readings as. So what else is kind of cool is you can tap the three dots at the top on your phone, go to About Blood Oxygen, and then this gives you more in-depth uh, information on the SpO2 readings that it's taking. And it also shows you here what a healthy range is. Uh, and gives you info on getting the best results. So one last thing I wanna show you is if you want it to take SpO2 readings uh, at night while you're sleeping, go ahead and wake it up. You can tap that upper right button and then swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This time we're gonna go into settings. So I'm clicking that gear icon or tapping that gear icon and then I'm swiping down until I get to Samsung Health. And I'm tapping on this and you can go in here and change all the different Samsung Health settings, which is pretty cool. Uh, but essentially right here is where you have blood oxygen during sleep. So if I go ahead and turn that on, um, essentially then it's going to take measurements while I'm sleeping. It does say here measurement can cause a light to flash on the back of your watch. So if that bothers you, you may want to just turn that back off. Something else to note is that keeping this enabled is also going to wear down the watch battery faster. Uh, I would recommend that you charge the watch at periods during the day so that you can have enough charge to do the monitoring during the, uh, the night when you're sleeping. So I'm interested to know, are you able to take a successful SpO2 reading? Let me know down in the comments section below. And I've done all sorts of tutorials and smartwatch reviews on this channel. If you're interested in more information on the Galaxy Watch 4 or Galaxy Watch 5, be sure to check out those videos linked down below. Did you happen to spot Tinker? He's our little hidden robot and he pops up in all the videos on this channel and he actually popped up during this video. If you spotted him, be the first person to correctly tell me the timestamp, that is the amount of time into this video that he pops up. Be that first person to let me know the correct time down in the comments section below along with your best comment and I will put your name on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page as well as I'll give you a shout out just like Donnie R one of our latest viewers to find Tinker in one of my recent videos. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you in the next video.